Hello, this is my Zin 144 uh, chronograph. From, it's, it's an early one. It should be from around mid 80s, 85, uh, 86 around. What you can see is for the early versions uh, of that model of uh, Zin, uh, the automatic uh, letters. Uh, are characteristic and also the characteristic uh, shape of the S in the brand Zin. Apart of that, um, the early versions have not this protection here on the side of that uh, buttons here, and uh, yeah, these are generally the. Uh, designs for an early model from the 80s. I think it was, uh, this should be one of the first, uh, one of the first models of the Zin 144. Um, this uh, watch, a part of these uh, aspects is uh, built until now in uh, the same shape, same size. Just the bracelet changed. This one is, uh, as I know, the first bracelet which was used for the Zin chronograph. Uh, it is the Expandro uh, bracelet, uh, and the Expandro bracelet. This one is an original, very early one, uh, because what you say, what you can see here. Wait, let me let me see if I find it. Um, Expandro, made in West Germany. This means definitely uh, that it was produced before 1990, so it should be uh, original from this uh, early model. However, this bracelet I bought uh, in a in a forum watch uh, lovers forum uh, to add it to the watch because uh, the watch when I when I bought that uh, around uh, four or five years ago came with a titanium bracelet of the Zin 152, uh, which from the color of the silver does not really fit good. Uh, this is a steel, stainless steel watch, and the titanium is a little bit grayish, uh, so the difference between the, um, the color was disturbing me, so I sold this <clears throat> titanium bracelet, it was this, uh, uh, early bracelet. I sold it and then I had it with the leather band which also looks quite good but then I uh, added this original Expandro bracelet for this wonderful watch. Now the quality feeling of these early bracelets is uh, not as we are accustomed nowadays. Uh, it is very lightweight and uh, but on the other side it is very com uh, comfortable uh, you have a fast adjustment of the bracelet uh, and uh, you have this uh, um, this feather here uh, which uh, allows you um, to adapt the bracelet to the uh, size of the arm now, the issue with that watch, and that is why I will sell it, I had three Zin uh, chronographs, 100, uh, 100, one, 142, I already sold that, uh, I will make a movie later, uh, then one another 144, which was in excellent condition, and also I sold that, and that one I kept, because, exactly because it has a lot of rocked down marks, uh, on the um, case, you see that, and uh, if you see my other videos, then you know that I hate uh, refurbished, polished, um, made-up watches. So I really like if you see the life of a watch. This watch was obviously worn and was obviously loved by the owner of of it, and um, so I like that. So I like that because it's a sort of a tool watch and I thought it would fit. The glass I replaced uh, around uh, uh, around three years ago, uh, same as the, the crown, 
uh, was also replaced in a Zin condition, uh, concessionary um, repair uh, and also uh, the um, the storm in inside the <laughs> I have no idea, actually technically I have no idea in the in, in the movement which which leads from the ground to the movement was replaced in German uh, it's the Welle uh, so um, and also I uh, the also the casks uh, were replaced so the watches uh, again should be again waterproof but the watch has an issue that's why i will sell it as defect uh the watch itself the, the time itself it holds the time perfectly you can wear it in everyday life but uh, what is not really working is the uh stop is, is this one is not the, the chronometer uh, the chronograph it is not it's not really working you see it is working a little bit but yeah you can never say uh, whether it works or not sometimes it goes sometimes not something is is, is hanging here and uh, the issue with that is uh, that the zero position is fine the issue is if you use it if you press this upper button uh, then also the second hand is stopping so the the whole movement is stopped uh, if you use this and uh, this is of course not uh, not good and I hate watches which are not perfectly uh, in perfect condition a uh, technical condition the outer condition the cosmetic condition doesn't matter but technically it must be in perfect condition so I will sell it because I don't want to invest uh, uh, the cost for the for the for the full service now um, and also because I'm not a really a big fan of chronographs for for me they are too complicated and uh, too sensitive i like robust watches that's why i uh, like divers watches and also these uh, iconic quartz uh, vintage watches if vintage then i really like these quartz of seiko because they don't make me don't let me think too much about it uh so yeah, I hope I can. I, I will sell that. There's no doubt that I can sell it, but I hope I, uh, I will. I will sell it soon. Um, the revision will would cost me between I estimate two hundred fifty to three hundred ninety four hundred, depending where you are and where you where you give it to. And yeah, it's a nice watch. I I really would like to to wear it, but. Um, yeah, I think I want to spare the money uh, and uh, I have some quartz chronographs either and I have a Omega uh, moon watch which needs a revision soon, a service soon so better I spare it and sell it and the new owner will have a very good watch uh, because with the full service, after the full service this will be a very very nice classic Zin 144 in Otherwise, in my opinion, uh, yeah, fair condition for the age. Uh, I mean, it's one of the first ones. And uh, so that's about this watch. Maybe uh, for, uh, at, for the end, I show you how it is on the arm. Uh, this watch looks, yeah, looks good on the arm. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's very nice, especially with this Expandro, this Expandro uh, bracelet is, very comfortable very comfortable and uh, re again you can uh, adjust it and it has this feather so it is it is uh, adapting perfectly to the arm i like it i don't like it too tight so this is perfect for me yeah so it's a shame actually yeah maybe i should think about it to sell it or or to keep it but uh, yeah too many watches make me trouble. Uh, it makes me uh, work and thinking about it, and then I uh, need to get it, give it to repair, and uh, yeah, I don't, I just don't want to care for it anymore. And uh, so, and honestly, I did not wear it very often since I have it, just in certain con uh, certain uh, situation and certain occasions, but not too often. Is not one of my favorite daily rockers here yeah. so yeah i think it would be reasonable to sell it and invest the money 
in something else. So that's for today uh, from uh, my last Zin chronograph, the 144 of around 1985-86.